So collective, it's been a rough journey through all of you guys' energy during this past week. Um, many of you are in this energy of leaving behind old things, old people, um, dealing with trauma from old people, um, envy, jealousy, and trying to move forward into a happier time, a happier place in your life. Um, I really feel for some of you, for some of the things you have been exposed to or been through, a lot of, it seems like, and I, I want to give this as kind of the, the centralized message. A lot of things that you went through were from your own good to get you to this place where you are in life now. Because if you never went through those hardships or those trying times you want to be the individual that you are today and making your mark in humanity the way you are at this time so no matter what you do because I was saying to somebody maybe it was one of the zodiac signs or maybe I was talking to a friend I forget but I was saying to somebody at any given time we are all in our divine role because in order to service humanity, we all have a role to play, right? Everyone is aiming to have money like Bill Gates, to have the body of, you know, Beyonce, Kim Kardashian, Nicki Minaj, or be the boss like Rick Ross, or, you know, whatever the, the, the um, systematic thinking is regarding why we do the things we do right but have you ever thought like when you get up in the morning and when you go outside and you stop at that store and you're able to get that cup of coffee how that person is playing a divine role in life for humanity how as you drive and you're on your way to work or whatever you may do that you are playing your divine role in humanity at that given moment. Whether you're a teacher, a doctor, a nurse, a nursing assistant, um, a film producer, an artist, um, a humanitarian, a geographist, or whatever, uh, I, uh, artificial intelligence. I don't even know what you call the people that study art, art, um, artificial intelligence, but whatever it is that you're doing in your life right now is exactly what you're meant to do to influence society. You know, I heard on the news that Trump just got indicted. I mean, I didn't hear it, I seen it. You know, even though I don't like to um, engage with the news, for some reason, Twitter feels like I just enjoy the news or some shit, which I don't. Hopefully, Twitter hears me and they'll stop sending me the news because I really don't enjoy knowing what's going on. But it just shocked the shit out of me that in our time, that presidents are being indicted. It's like, what type of world do we live in where even the presidents are being indicted? And I'm just like, whatever. We all have a divine role to play. He played his divine role at that time. Our children are the ones that is suffering the most in the society trying to find their way through. Can you imagine in the Tower of Babel, right? Um, during the time of the Tower of Babel, God confused their languages because it was like how the internet is now information can be transferred so fast for so many different places to so many different people like our whether we realize it or not time is going a lot faster than what it used to you know a lot of people say time time is of the essence time is not real or something like that's so illusion but i choose to believe it is because I mean, I choose to believe it's not an illusion because time definitely has changed everything and time continues to change everything. When you start lo losing loved ones, as you age, as you get older, time definitely changes things. The kids become adults. The adults become um, old age parents, so on and so forth. Time definitely changes everything. But enough of me rambling. 
Let's go here and see what Beloved wants the collective to know. Beloved, what's going on with the collective? What do you want the collective to know at this time? <laughs> that's, that's, that's my beloved right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Beloved is saying, do not worry. Keep yourself at total peace. Okay? Because I will give you rest rest in the midst of everything that's going on there is something that's coming that's gonna be like a new beginning for this collective energy um this serenity is definitely about keeping your peace and all that goes on in society have you guys ever felt the need to like totally disconnect um, if it wasn't for pan bills, how many of us will live off grid and just live in like these wooded areas with a lot of earth, a lot of trees, a lot of nature, and just be at complete peace? Some of you guys need more rest. Some of you guys don't sleep enough. So busy chasing what... It's called that the cornflakes at the end of the rainbow. How many of us are chasing cornflakes? Because once again, our aim, they want us to believe our aim and ambition is to be successful, to have the biggest house, to do this, to do that. I'm reading this book right now. I'm still rambling, but I think this is informative. But I'm reading this book right now, and it was talking about how having a house is not an asset, but actually a liability. Because if you lose your job, right, that's instantly going to turn into debt. That's instantly going to be like a stressor. That's not something you could count as an asset unless it's paid off and your taxes are low or something like that, right? Then I was talking about... Um, Talking about the game that the wealthy have that the working class doesn't. And the game gen generally is to have, have more assets than you do resting income. So meaning like you can make 400000 a year, but if you have assets that's equivalent to $4 million at that time, your taxes will only be like 8%, 9% of your income, right? Compared to someone who works and they make that same 400000 but they only have assets like a 400000 They're going to be taxed at 26 28%. This is how the rich stay richer and the poor stay poor. So I thought, I thought it was pretty interesting to find out how this game actually works. And, you know, at the end of the day, if we think about different different cultures of people such as no let me say different religions like the Buddhists we are living totally on the opposite end of that religion because the Buddhists believe and what we should as in this tarot community believe in peace calm serenity going within and letting whatever's within um, not affect what's um, the outside not affect what's on the inside, right? Not yearning after these materialistic things that the society constantly puts on us, right? But in our westernized society, consumer spending is at least 79% of the total wealth. You know, I was watching a documentary on um, Elon Musk, not Elon Musk, on um, Jeff Bezos. And Amazon. So when you think Amazon, right, you think prime delivery, two-day delivery. That's where I'm getting my cards from. I got this from Amazon. I got that, which is all good, right? But then we go deeper into Amazon. Amazon, maybe it's not meant for me to use the cards. I don't know. Maybe it's just meant for me to share this information. But um, Amazon got this AWS system, and this is the system. Was it this system? Yeah, the AWS system is the system that all of the major companies are using, including the CIA, to keep and store personal information, personal data. <coughs> personal information, personal data, and stuff like that. And then I'm like, wow. 
And then to dive in deeper, then they have this recognition program with a K that they sell into law enforcement and all these different type of agencies that do like facial recognition. And like some of this shit is really out of control what's going on behind our backs while we are so busy you know aiming for this level of success or aiming for these materialistic things or busy having to pay a mortgage or pay a car note or whatnot td jake said be careful what you invest in because you're trading your life for it right so if you got a 30-year mortgage guess what for 30 years you're gonna be working to pay that mortgage off and if you're able to pay it off sooner then you're blessed but basically you have to invest time to trade that wow that's crazy but um you know another thing about Jeff Bezos you guys ain't gonna believe it and caps y'all can get on my ass if you want to so he said his birthday was January 12th. And I was like, huh, Capricorn. But now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, Cap, motherfucking devil? No, not Jeff Bezos. And I think I think like um, Bill Gates is like a Taurus. Warren Buffett is like an Aries or something. I could be wrong. But just when he said that, I was like, no, how ironic. That he's born on the sign of Capricorn. Because first thing you think about Capricorn, you think of the big bosses. You know, they're going to, they getting the money, you know, as Capricorns do. Because he originally started off as a stockbroker. But, um, how ironic is that? I don't know where our society is headed, I promise you. I just know, I feel something. You know, I don't know what it is, but beloved is saying a new beginning is coming. Oh, thank, thank you, God. Let's see what's up. They like Black Madonna just rambling, but I think that's the stuff that people need to know. Like the, the, what I learned, I'm gonna share with my tribe because yeah, it's a lot going on that we know nothing about. It's a star seed that's coming. A star seed. If this person hasn't already been born, this person is coming. Oh wow. Oh, oh my goodness. <sighs> Here's the star seed as a child, right? Y'all y'all ready for this? Cuz it's about to get deep. Here's the star seed as a child going through the motions of everyday life, trying to balance themselves as this human being and this spiritual being and just fit in, right? The star. I wonder what sign this star seed is born under? This this child, this chosen one, because over here, I feel like we got Elon Musk. I feel like we got Bill Gates. Not Bill Gates. Could be Bill Gates. You guys, wait, hold on. I, I know for sure. I know for sure that uh, um, Jeff Bezos is a Capricorn. Elon Musk. Why do I feel like Elon Musk is a because hold on I'm trying to get, figure it out and type at the same time 
Um, Bill Gates, I know for sure, is a Capricorn. Elon Musk is a Cancer. Okay. Cancer. What does Elon Musk do? Right? He's trying to send us to the moon. Cancer. So, who is this father of air that builds cars then? Or build heavy machinery or builds. Let's check it out because, okay, so Elon Musk is a cancer. Um, Jeff Bezos is a uh, um, Capricorn. Bill Gates is a He's a Scorpio. I feel like this is Elon though. Who is this? The death card. How ironic. Okay, just think about that for a minute. I wish I had a, 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 a whiteboard where I can shoo, 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 and write it. Okay? Are you guys following me? Okay? So, Jeff Bezos is a Capricorn, and it's under the sign of, you know, El Diablo. And he has this, this muscle, right, of a business. His business is not a muscle. You ain't messing with Jeff Bezos in no type of way, right? Too much power. Too much of anything in excess is what? toxic right so you have Elon Musk who builds spaceships who is a water sign huh you have you, wait hold on you have I got to get these three together. You have Elon Musk, you have um, Bill Gates, and you have Jeff Bezos. Bill Gates is a Scorpio death. He, like, created the COVID. <laughs> okay, let's just be honest, okay? he had, His name was out there. It had something to do with the COVID. That's the death sign. Elon, uh, um, Jeff Bezos is um, in that devil's energy. He got too much of anything in his says. Elon Musk is this water sign. So is um Bill Gates. But Bill Gates ain't in no um what you call it? And no um spaceships. Or is he? You guys would know better than I do. But who's this father of air? This is what's killing me. Is this Warren Buffett? Is this somebody else? That's the last one I'm checking you guys. Then I'm gonna get back to the message. Cause I you know y'all like what is Black Madonna on? I am trying to figure it out, okay? This is why I do some time. When I have time, which is very rarely, like I said, they keep us so busy with other things. But let's see here. Warren Buffett birthday. Maybe this is Warren. Let's see. He a Virgo? This cannot be possible. And he is 92 years old. Goddamn, who y'all know who lived that long and looked that good and still out here, like, walking and talking and shit? <laughs> okay. I don't know who that is. Maybe you got something to sign, but whoever this father of air energy is, builds like, maybe, maybe this. Mm. I'm going to try one more person. Bear with me. This is the last person. You guys know who I'm going for? Take a wild guess. I just want to check. And then I'm getting back to the reading. So the next person is Joe. You guessed it. Joe 
fighting it. He's 80 years old. Damn, they living longer than all of humanity combined. <laughs> Okay, so his birthday is November 20th. Is he a Scorpio? Or is he a Sagittarius? He a damn Scorpio. More death. I wonder the symbolicness of it, though. I'm just saying, I don't know who this is. And that bothers me. I don't know who this is. Because this is the person that's going to cause this energy to come upon the earth. Who is this person? And watch, I'm going to get it at another time. It's a, it's a cancer card though, right? So I don't know if it could be Eli. I don't know. See, that's why sometimes diving in deep, maybe it's God saying that he sees these people and what they're doing. This is definitely Elon Musk. Do y'all know that Elon Musk is an African American? <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that irony out there so that in 2023. You never know what an African American can look like. But I wonder when it comes to those check marks, right? Those boxes, do they do they click African American or white? I'm just, you know, curious minds want to know. <laughs> Something's being hidden from us at this time with, with this, uh, Moon card here. Something's being hidden, but something's getting ready to come to light. God is getting ready to bring something to light. Whoever this star seed child is, this child is this this the child of our dreams that's currently being born. I just did a reading for Pisces that was talking about a star seed child that was gonna change the world. Here's here's those three. Elon. I like Elon though. I know he a big ass boss. But sometimes he don't seem like he wits that shits. He feel like sometimes he on the other side. I'm just saying. You guys tell me. But let's just say Elon. Um, I'd rather say uh, Warren Buffett. Um, um, oh my goodness. I got too many names in my head to be so, so late. Warren Buffett. Um, I got Joe Biden. Oh my goodness, come on. I don't say that name a hundred times and now it's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Warren Buffett. Um, Jeff Bezos. And Bill Gates. These are the three. That's eating from a land flowing with milk and honey. Right? What are they doing? They're creating the, the, the status quo for everybody else. All this stuff that's going on ain't by coincidence. There's people at the top that's creating a certain lifestyle. But whoever the star seed is, this this star seed, they're not going to be of age when they change the world. This is going to be somebody young. Okay? Someone that is way advanced. Like, this is going to be someone that has a master degree or something by the age of 16. Or study quantum physics or some type of artificial intelligence. Or, I don't know. Whoever this is, this person is just going to be off the chain. But this, whoever this star seed is, that's coming to bring this new beginning into the world. Yeah. This is what they, they're getting ready to go through. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm looking at a mother of water. It say Mao Muko. I don't know who Mao Muko is, but you guys know I'm gonna look her up real quick and see who she is. But yeah, the chips will fall on all the big ones. It just haven't fell yet. Hold on. My Muko. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and she looked just like this. These are actual damn people. She is the world of moral tattoo. My Mooka world. Hold on. It's a tattoo book? A facial or body tattoo was a sign of great mana and status. Male warriors wore elaborate tattoos on their faces and bodies. Women took their delicate chin tattoos. Is this how we will know? Who, um... Okay, a New Zealand academic specializing in moral cultural issues and lesbian activists. So this person is going to be a lesbian. You guys, I got to do more research. Because, um, this has just gotten real, real, real deep. And it's like, okay, who is this person? If you guys have any idea... Who this mother water is it's not the person on this picture obviously but it is somebody in the hierarchy of individuals <sighs> collective I've rambled I've gave my speech I've gave information we have someone coming through that is a star sea beloved said don't trip become Things will not always be this way. But either way, that's the message I have. Thank you so much for tapping in to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and soul. Take care.